I read Gone Girl, you know, and um, I, I I love the book. It's one of the best books I've read in some time. So, and, I, and I'm in love with David Fincher. And I'm telling you, I'm just gonna start with the rating. I'm, I'm feeling a clean nine out of ten. I mean, this film is like near fucking perfect. Ben Affleck, huh, oh, was so fantastic as I expected him to be as Nick Dunn. He just totally nailed this character so fucking well. The, the sequence where, um, during this sequence, you know, when he's like being in, in, investigated, interrogated, however you want to word it, he, just the little subtle nuances in his performance were just fantastic and so convincing. I mean, oh my goodness. And Roseman Pike! My lord, I, I've never, I don't, I've never consciously, intentionally ever, like, seen her in any other piece of, uh, cinema. But she was fantastic, okay? I'm telling you right now, there's gonna be spoilers, people, by the way. But I'm telling you right now, my favorite sequence, well, my two favorite sequences with her is, A, when she cuts MPH's throat on the bed, alright? And there's just blood all over her, and, the, and, and Trent Reznor and Atticus on the soundtrack are just... Just, just thrashing these, the these just haunting, dis disturbing sounds. The soundtrack, by the way, is remarkable. Is so remarkable. The second song on this soundtrack, the film. My first, my favorite scene from this movie is when Roseman Pike, she like like MPH, he's just left the house and and she's like 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 setting herself up to. To, to frame this motherfucker, and she puts like like blood or something on her on her fucking pussy, you know. And she fucking goes to the to the window, and like the camera's looking at her, and she starts screaming. I'm telling you right now, her performance in that scene alone, and the music combined, the whole movie is just fantastic. However, I do feel that the film. I feel like the movie dragged on a bit, and I think maybe if they just had removed, like, you know when, um, when Amy, when she, like, gets herself, like, after Amy explains her whole evil master plan, and she goes to hide out, um, in that one place, they just had cut out that whole section of the film, I, I think the film would have been... I think I think the film would have been cohesive because the film is so good. Tyler Perry. I was worried about Tyler Perry being in this movie. Tyler Perry was fantastic. He was so believable as this oily, just just slick, fucking sharp lo lawyer guy. Like he was. T Tyler Perry, you know, was was great. Um, you know, just just David Fincher just brings out these very subtle little details in actors that's just so awe-inspiring to watch. The cinematography is gorgeous. Holy fuck. I mean, you, you could just blindly pause at it, at any one point in this movie and, and, and every shot is going to look crystal clear and just fucking beautiful. Stuff up and live on her own and those, those two people rob her, you know? If that just that whole sequence you know, with her living amongst those two people that robbed her. If that was just removed for the from the film, I think the film would have been, you know, a little bit tighter. But other than that, that's my only flaw with the film. Because other than that one flaw that it just dragged a bit, it's just so... It's just a beautifully horrific movie. <laughs> it's beautiful filmmaking. Um, but very dark indeed. So, I'm feeling a 9 out of 10 for this movie, but you know. What do you think?